Hey everyone, welcome back. And today we're gonna to be taking a closer look at VPNs and how they can help you browse the web anonymously. And so I'll be explaining what VPNs are, how they work, and giving you some recommendations to help you pick a VPN service that best fits your situation. So if you wanna know more about VPNs and wanna browse the internet anonymously, then this video is gonna be for you. So without further ado, let's get started. Also, if at any point you'd like to give any of the VPNs that I'm about to mention today a try, you'll find discount links available in the description down below to help you save some extra money. Now, VPNs or virtual private networks are tools that allow you to connect to the internet securely and privately. They work by creating a secure encrypted connection between your device and a VPN server. This connection then routes all of your internet traffic through the VPN server, allowing you to browse the internet anonymously by hiding your IP address and encrypting your data to keep it safe from prying eyes. When it comes to using VPNs on your browser, many VPN services offer browser extensions that can be added to your browser as a simple add-on. These extensions work by encrypting your browser traffic and directing it through the VPN server, providing an extra layer of security and privacy while browsing the web. With the browser extension, you can easily turn your VPN on or off, change server locations, and access blocked content without leaving your browser. This makes VPNs more accessible and easier to use for those who primarily use their browser for internet activity. However, not all VPN services offer browser extensions and not all extensions work equally well. That's why I've compiled a list of my top VPN picks that also offer great browser extensions, hoping it would help you make an informed decision. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch, they're excellent for torrenting, and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three, but depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'm gonna explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN. This is gonna be the best one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN, and it has the most verified no logs policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so, ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest levels of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN. And Nord is what I consider the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries. And while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming or if you want extra features such as threat protection, which blocks ads, malware wooden websites, as well as protects your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance, and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription, as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get some of the bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity. And it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. 
Now, NordVPN is a well-rounded, high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be very useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions like strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. So that's going to be it for this video. Again, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you guys have any questions as I love getting to interact with you. And of course, like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or if you'd like to stay up to date with our future videos. Guys, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you in the next one.